The owners of a new Madison business may have good intentions, but the city has some concerns. A new downtown storefront already has a lot of people talking. That includes the city attorney's office worried about safety, licensing, or even potential assaults. Still, that is not stopping a place called the Snuggle House, trying to teach the lesson that sometimes not only do we want a hug, sometimes we may need it. It's a story you'll only see on News 3. Hi, I'm Snuggle. There's nothing new with wanting a little snuggle time. Let's make the world a softer place. Let's snuggle. Oh, yes. The old rug. But that something old... There it is. ...is getting renewed. Here. Oh, it's gonna be wild. At the Snuggle House. Even just a hug for a couple seconds can release the oxytocin in your body and your brain. Um, which has powerful effects to reduce stress. And I was thinking to myself, man, that is like such a good idea. Yeah, we would go right into cuddling, like spooning on a bed. <laughs> it sounds like kind of crazy, but because it sounds crazy, I think because it's two strangers. It's two people that don't know each other. And in our culture, that is so like, that doesn't happen. And that's kind of what I don't like. And whenever you like, we can change positions. Just let me know. And there's a lot of therapeutic value mm -hmm. in a, you know, wholesome, pure sense mm -hmm. of physical contact. The Snuggle House will soon be much like what you see here from the Snuggery in New York. I make sure they understand that it's not sexual. Sexual, no. Leave it at the door. Healing, yes. And this is a therapeutic going to be a therapeutic place. Sexual healing, doubtful. I want to be in love with the whole world. I want to be in love with every single person I meet. The lines could become messy, and if they become too messy, we would just end that client relationship, client sure. snuggler relationship. <laughs> Hannah Rohde will manage the place, and already she has a handful of professional snugglers, including the lone man Lonnie. It's like my goal in life to spread love. They know the idea is out there for some folks. I'm totally ready for kind of people to be against it or not understand, and I'm okay with that. But if they can reach just one person who's hurting, then they say that already makes their world a softer place. My motto is like, I'm going to change the world one snuggle at a time. <laughs> Seriously. We, I mean, we're like sort of hippie, like we just seriously want more love, more peace, more connection. Well, Hannah says that already more than 55 people have signed up for appointments and says veterans, the elderly, and those who have lost loved ones may really benefit from a snuggle. But we should also mention that the city is watching this business closely. There's no record of occupancy permits or a fire inspection to date. That deadline to get it done might as well be Tuesday when the snuggle house is set to open, giving free hugs on the Capitol all day long. I think some folks at the Capitol could use a hug. I'm but, sure. Hey, I've been in Madison 16 years. <laughs> Uh, Madison's very open to a lot of different yeah. ideas, but I'm interested to see how people react to this on our Facebook page and other places. But what is the city doing so far? Well, you know, the really the, the heart of it, the city can't really do anything until they get their permit. So we'll see if they get all the licensing uh, things that need to be taken care of first of all. But uh, when I talked to the city attorney's office, they used the word dubious. So we'll see. You know, it, it's it's been in other places, New York, Colorado, for example, and um, the idea that touch therapy might have benefits, it's out there. We'll see. We'll yeah. pose the question on our Facebook page, yeah. see what kind of reaction we get, Michelle. Very interesting, though. Thank you.